Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. I wanted to uh, take a minute today to talk to you about the dark web and dark web reports uh, from the new dark web reporting from Google, which I think is useful for anybody who's listening to this uh, particular video. Uh, as a background today, I brought up what I thought was the most dark webbiest wallpaper I had. This is one we made for the Halloween wallpaper collection. I'll link to it in the description. We call it Mona Evil. I'll do deference to Mr. Da Vinci, but we found it funny. So there you go. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, this is the, the dark web for, for those of you that don't know, just it's a simple term for the part of the internet that, that can't be searched and we've written on it before i can link if you uh want to know more about it but because of the anonymity and the privacy of the dark web um you know with that privacy comes certain criminal activity um it's a good place that if you've stolen a credit card you can sell it to another criminal who's going to try and profit from it and you know what what they'll do is they'll breach a, a huge a database someplace grab some emails passwords and then then sell them those emails and passwords so security number addresses on the dark web so that people can use those for you know phishing scams you know uh, if i have your name address email and social security number i might be able to convince you i'm your bank and you need to give me your passwords those sorts of things so it's da you know dangerous information i have out there there are monitoring services out already uh norton has lifelock and um there's another free service called have i been pwned uh which is i'll link to that as well um the, have i been pwned is free lifelock's pay Life lock will monitor, but Google is offering this service for free uh, if you have a Google account and it's worth looking into. Um, I have set up a fake account, so if the email address shows up, don't bother copying it down or writing me. I'm not going to respond. This will be gone about five minutes after this video. But what you do is is you log into your Google account, go to myaccount.google.com, and then just click the security tab, and then just scroll down to dark web report. All you have to do is then click it uh, to get started, and then click start monitoring. And in this case, all Google knows about this email address because I just created it. Um, rolls right off the tongue there, right? I dare you to pronounce it. Um, it knows that the name is Major Geeks and the birth date's January 80, right? Um, it doesn't have any other information, but I, I'd like Google to monitor that information to see if it gets out there in that combination. Once you complete that, you can add your social security number, your address, 10 emails, because we all use more than one, right? and a number of phone numbers for them to monitor, which is, you know, the wicked cool. Cause if somebody has your cell phone and your name, they may be able to contact you, act like relative, those sorts of things. And again, for a phishing attack. So then you click done and it'll start a monitoring profile. Again, in this case, um, I have no information here. Uh, that's just created of course there's not going to be any errors uh, but if there was something out there date of birth email or whatnot um, it would say what it was what the results and maybe some action items and i did take a screenshot earlier of my other account uh, where you can see that whatever email that was uh, had been compromised on a couple of different occasions where it was compromised and what passwords were associated with that account what's sweet is it offers actual actionable suggestions on what you could do so not as only is it proactive but it tells you what suggested steps you can do to take care of that problem in this case 
change the password, set up two-factor authentication. But too often, people find that there's a problem and they don't know what to do. Um, what's also very nice about this is it doesn't say the passwords that were compromised, just the first couple of letters. And since I have a password manager, I can search and say, you know, I, I probably know what those passwords were, you know, um, and I can search my password manager to see if other sites use that in combination with the email, which would be a good uh, good tactic there. Um, if you uh, like the service, you want to keep it, that's fantastic. If you'd like to end it, all you do is you go and then delete the monitoring profile there, and it stops it. Um, you know, Google deletes the data, and you could go, because, you know, it's a catch-22, right? Like, in order to monitor your data, you have to give somebody the data. And do you trust Google with the data? Um, you know, some people don't. So you could go in, have a quick check, and then delete it if you like. But again, you know, uh, there's the service. I, I think it's a worthy checkout for any of you out there to, to take a look at. I didn't know it existed until recently. I'll link to all the websites I uh, talked about in the description. If this is handy for you, please share it with others or hit the like button. Both those things help us out an awful lot. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for listening. Um, appreciate you all. And until next time, geek it till it megahertz.